Hi everyone, in today's video I'm doing a half glossier, half drugstore video. I did do this video about a year ago. It feels like a lifetime ago. That video really put me on the map and I'm really happy that that was the video that kind of did it for me because I am really proud of that video. I worked so hard on that video. I didn't have a following at the time so I couldn't ask people what the recommendations were. I really did all of the research on my own. I work at Ulta so I was bringing in my Glossier products and like swatching the drugstore products and finding my own dupes and I really, I worked my freaking butt off on that video and I'm so happy that that was the video that kind of put me on the map. I know a lot of you guys came from that video and I'm just really proud of that video. But since that video is a little bit older, it did go through a period where it really wasn't getting views anymore, you know, it's just an older video. But my good friend on YouTube, Sincerely Cyrus C, did her own version of Glossier Drugstore Dupes and her video was super successful and it actually ended up bringing my original video kind of back up to the surface. So I really wanted to film an updated version for you guys. I haven't even gotten to saying which side is which. I'm going to give you a second to decide for yourself which side is which. So this is the drugstore side and this is the Glossier side. I'm wondering if you're surprised because honestly, at the end of the video I do give you guys my big overall opinion, but there's really no difference going on here and overall, I actually prefer the drugstore side. You're gonna have to watch the whole video for the sort of nitty gritty. Before we get started, I always give this sort of disclaimer. I feel like you guys should know this by now, but I am a Glossier rep. If you shop through the link down below, you do save 10% off and all of my Glossier links will be affiliate links. However, that does not change any of my opinions on the overall look. I literally just sat here and told you guys I prefer the drugstore side. So as you should know, it does not change my opinion on anything, but it is there if you guys want to save some money and it does give me a little bit of kickback, but that is it from me right now. Let's get started into the video. So I'm going to be using my Glossier products on this side and my drugstore products on this side. This side of my skin has a little bit more blemishes and whatnot, so I figured I would make Glossier handle the blemishes. <laughs> I am of course going in with my Glossier skin tint. I'm using the shade G7. I do feel I can move to G6 at the moment because I have been spending a little bit more time out in the sun, but the drugstore side products that I have are a little lighter so I just wanted to make things as even as possible but yeah you guys have seen me use the skin tint a million bajillion times it's really beautiful it's not everyone's cup of tea but I feel for what it is it gets the job done and it does the job well I'm using the covergirl clean fresh skin milk I feel I'll have conflicting opinions on me using this product but this is a dupe video and I feel like in terms of current drugstore dupes this is what the drugstore has. By the way I use the shade 560 medium in this. I do have a whole video on the clean fresh line from CoverGirl um, where I reviewed the skin tint and their blushes and those new highlights. I forgot this. Oh, I forgot the smell was kind of weird. I have watched a few other reviews on this product and a lot of people don't like it. They actually really dislike this product, which I understand why. I do feel if you have dry skin, this would be a horrific experience for you, but I found on my oily skin, it did actually wear pretty nice throughout the day once my oils kind of settled in with it. So it wasn't offensive for me to use, but honestly I don't use this product. I bought it for review purposes, I tried it out for the review, and since that review I really don't use it. I do right off the bat think that the skin tint side is a little bit more glowy, but the CoverGirl Clean Fresh side has a little bit more coverage. For my concealer, I'm using the Glossier Stretch Concealer in G7. I'm so excited I can use my fingers to apply it. If you aren't familiar with my videos, I do get SNS done on my 
fingernails and since nobody is leaving their house at the moment I can't maintain my nails so I did just end up cutting them all down to be really short start fresh and then grow back healthy nails this little thing right there it's more of a scab at this point I don't think it's getting covered with the stretch concealer. I don't really think any concealer would be able to cover it. For my drugstore side, I'm really excited to really be able to say that Undone Beauty is actually drugstore. You can purchase this at Target, which is freaking awesome. It's their Undone Reveal to Conceal. I use the shade Latte Medium in this. It's a little light for me at the moment, I think, but the shade that I have like one up is a little dark. The shade range for the Undone Concealer is really not the best and they did expand it so hopefully they can expand it even more possibly but as far as the concealer it is a really nice formula. I don't find it to be as dewy as the Stretch Concealer but it has a little bit more coverage. I know that they do the kind of different coverage options between maybe this is full, medium, and light. I kind of just, I guess I mainly dip into the medium, but I kind of just stamp my hand all around. I can't keep up with that. My friend Courtney back in February visited the States. She's from New Zealand. If you have been on my channel before, you've heard me talk about Courtney. I talk about her all the time, but she placed an order for Undone Beauty and bought a few things and the concealer was one of them and she also bought the stretch concealer while she was here and I think she likes the undone concealer a bit better than the stretch concealer. She's kind of toying with the idea of starting a Instagram where she's reviewing all of the products she got while she was in America and I really hope that she does because I think that her opinions will be really interesting. She's heard about these products so much and she's finally able to like form her own opinions on them and so far she's been sharing her opinions with me and so far I find them to be really interesting. So I really hope that she creates this Instagram soon if she chooses to do so. I will leave it linked down below. Moving on to brows though. For my brows I'm going to go in with the Glossier Boy Brow and I'm using the shade black. I don't prefer the shade black in my brows. I actually much prefer brown and I can't find my brown at the moment and my black was running pretty low so I added a little bit of contact solution to the bottle to I guess moisten the product back up because it was kind of dry and it worked. I did that this morning and this is the first time I'm using it so actually looks pretty good. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Wow Brow and I'm using the shade Deep Brown. I kind of rediscovered this product. You're gonna see me use it in a video that I post on Saturday but I know a lot of people think this product is a dupe which is why I'm using it today but I think the closest affordable dupe that you can get to Glossier is the Colourpop Brow Boss Gel Yes, the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. That is the closest you can get to a dupe to boy brow, but technically ColourPop isn't drugstore. I feel like people would chew me out for using it in this video. And I do know a lot of people believe that the e.l.f. Wow Brow is very similar to the boy brow. I'm here to tell you it's really not. The Wow Brow from e.l.f really sets the brows in a more like hard formula and it's definitely more gel like and I actually think it has like little fibers in the product but the boy brow has more of like a waxy feel to it so it dries a little bit softer and I find that the boy brow does a little bit better of a job accentuating all of the hairs whereas the wow brow dries like a matte finish which some people like some people don't I prefer there to be a little bit of shine in my brows to kind of make my brow hairs look a little bit more 3D but in terms of a dupe for boy brow I don't think that the wow brow is a dupe for the boy brow but it is a really nice brow gel. So for eyeshadow, Glossier has their lid stars and they have their sky washes, which is a newer product. It's a liquid matte eyeshadow. I find both of those eyeshadows to be really unique and pretty much undupable on the drugstore side. I don't have a dupe for the lid star in this video, 
but I am going to be doing my eyes still. On the Glossier side, I'm using the Terra Sky Wash, and on the drugstore side, I'm using a powdered eyeshadow from Revlon in this Maverick eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to take the Sky Wash sort of on that outer, outer little bit and just blend it out with a brush focusing on that outer corner. This is like my favorite shade and it's my favorite way to wear the shade. I took it out a little bit too far so I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. So the Sky Wash is super buildable. You can build it up to be a lot more intense than what it is right now, but I'm just going to leave it as is. And to sort of just dupe the color of it, I'm going in with this shade right here from this little Revlon palette. And I'm just placing it on the same area as I did the other side and I'm taking some concealer like I did on the other side and just cleaning up. I'm going to add a little bit more sky wash just a little because I feel like the Revlon eyeshadow was just a little bit more dark so I'm just going to deepen this up. As far as color matching goes I feel like these are very similar. Obviously they're different formulas. This is powder, this is liquid. I find the liquid eyeshadow to just be more fun to use, but overall I don't really have a preference, and I feel if you are looking to purchase one or the other, it definitely comes down to preference. For my mascara on the Glossier side, I am going in with the Glossier Lash Slick. The Lash Slick from Glossier is actually a really beautiful, really natural looking mascara. My only issue with it is it is a real bitch to take off at the end of the day and I really don't like that characteristic in a mascara. I feel even with their Milky Jelly Oil makeup remover, this is still pretty challenging to take off. For the drugstore side, I'm going to be using my Honest Beauty Mascara. I'm not going to be using the primer side because I didn't use a primer on the Glossier side, but I find the wand to be pretty similar to the Lash Slick, and this mascara is so bomb. It's definitely a favorite, favorite mascara of mine, like favorite drugstore mascara, but also favorite mascara overall. It's so good. Oh my god, I feel like the Honest Beauty mascara just blew Lash Lick out of the park. My lashes on this side look so amazing. I freaking love this Honest Beauty mascara. Seriously, it is so good. But I am preferring my eyebrows on the boy brow side. Drugstore automatically wins this category because... Glossier doesn't have a freaking bronzer yet. I feel at this point there's a lot of pressure for Glossier to come out with a bronzer and I think the pressure might be too high that like whatever they come out with people are either going to love it or hate it and I just don't know. They might view that as like not worth it to put out a product. So I still feel the same way about the skin. My skin on the Glossier side looks way more natural and skin-like, whereas on the drugstore side, it does look like I'm wearing makeup, but very natural looking makeup, so I think it does come down to what you prefer. So in my original drugstore versus Glossier video, the options for liquid blush were scarce in the drugstore department. I remember using the Flower Beauty Flower Balm, which was an okay dupe, but really wasn't a true dupe. But since then, the drugstore has blessed us with so many different liquid blush options. I know I've teased a full-on drugstore liquid blush video. I just feel super overwhelmed to tackle a video like that but I'm going to get around to it, I am. For the Glossier side, I'm just going to be using some of the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Dusk. Dusk is a classic. I know for more fair skin, a lot of people can get away with using Dusk as like a bronzer. Unfortunately, I can't. It comes off as a very pretty natural nudie pink, but I actually just spent the past like 10 minutes coming up with a combo combination that would match any of my Milani cheek kisses, and I couldn't. I couldn't find a good one. So the closest dupe that I could find in the Milani cheek kiss to another cloud paint was the shade Nude Flush. So I'm applying a little bit of Nude Flush. 
It looks to be a little darker. I don't find the form, oh, the color is super duper similar. I don't find the formula on the two to be super similar. Cloud paints are definitely more paint-like, but I do feel they give a very similar appearance. I'm going in with the Glossier Halo Scope in the shade Quartz, and I'm just going to pat it out with my finger. I might want to add a little bit more cloud paint. I'm just adding a little bit more dusk to my cheeks. For my drugstore side, I don't think I've ever used this product before. I bought it a long time ago when I did my full face of Burt's Bees. I think I did use it one time, but I have the All Aglow Highlighter in Opal Mist. Tons and tons of you guys were telling me that this was a dupe for Halo Scope when I did my original drugstore versus Glossier video. And this is my first time kind of putting that to the test. It's a little bit more glossy, but it is a highlight, so that's kind of nice. It's like a little bit more glowy. Last part is lips for the Glossier side. I'm going to go in with the Glossier Play Lip Gloss in Pony. And for the drugstore side, these are a newer product. They are the Revlon Super Lustrous Glass Shine Lipsticks. And I'm using the shade Rum Raisin for the drugstore side. I feel like when I swatch them next to each other, they look pretty similar shade-wise. So let's see. Similar enough. Pony definitely has a little bit more mauve to it, whereas Rum Raisin definitely pulls a little bit more red. But as far as like shininess, like appearance wise, they seem to look pretty similar on the lips as far as like that goes. A lot of this really doesn't look different at all. I feel if I was to go out in public and someone decided to nitpick my face, they would definitely notice the lips were off and they might think the mascara was different, but other than that, I would be very comfortable leaving the house this way. I've brought you guys up way, way close so you can see an up close look at what my skin is looking like on both sides. Again, this is Glossier, and on this side is my drugstore side. So a lot has happened between now and the last clip that you saw and I actually feel kind of devastated right now. But as always, I have my mom come in and give her unbiased opinion. My camera died and my camera likes to do this thing where it dies and then disconnects because it died and then doesn't save the last clip that it filmed and literally such a crucial part of the video is just gone but I will say her preference was the drugstore side which I've got to say I agree with her but before I move on any further I did change my lip I told you a lot has happened but I did change my lip I actually went ahead and used the physician's formula butter lipstick in the shade mauve to Brazil I used the butter lipstick on this side and then the glossier play lip gloss and pony on this side literally looks the same like undetectable the freaking same but my mom she preferred the drugstore side she said the drugstore side just looked a little bit more glowy and she prefers a look like that but she did also say if I was to go out in public there would be no difference on my face, which I have to agree with her. I actually agree with her 100%. I do prefer the drugstore side. I find this side just looks overall a little better, but I feel in a lot of ways both sides just look the same exact way. The only thing I prefer on the Glossier side is my eyebrows, and my mom did agree to that as well. But yeah, that is my half Glossier, half drugstore. What do you guys think? I think this was a really impressive half and half. I think the drugstore side really freaking came through. I'm really happy I was able to do an updated version of this video. I'd love for you guys to go ahead and leave your drugstore dupes down below so I could maybe do a part three to this video. I also wanted to get your opinion on how you guys feel about doing a half glossier, half glam. I know that sounds sort of odd, but I feel it might be a fun visual to have to do 
half very natural glossier model-esque look and then do a really glam lashes bold eye sort of look on the other side so you let me know what you guys think of that let me know if it's stupid, I don't know. Just toying around with some ideas to keep me busy. But that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so. And hopefully I see you next time.